What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Drug Dealer Simulator. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like in the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we actually secured our very first recruit for drug dealing for us, which is pretty nice. We also got a brand new substance and created a new substance of our own known as Blue Amp. Once again, if you guys missed that, link to the series playlist is always in the description, so make sure you check that out. In the previous episode, I also mentioned that we were gonna look at the skill points and completely forgot to do so. So right out the gate here, we're gonna go through and uh, just upgrade a few of these things. We'll get everything kind of baselined at, uh, at one. Pockets have been significantly upgraded already, and then I think we'll just sort of start at the bottom and uh, work our way up. There we go. Our phone has been ding a ling a lingin' off the hook. So we're gonna check in with Shadycom here, see what uh, what's going on. Oh, right. I forgot about Mike. So I did a little bit of off-camera grinding, really not that much. I made a couple of sales here and there, but it wasn't anything too crazy. So now we have to still addict at least five clients to our products, not just product. We have to check out Eddie's friend's hideout renting offer, which is dude's email or, or text message we just saw and then we have to rent a new hideout for ourselves as well so let's take a look at uh, what dude said here we'll see what this is all about mike byers hi eddie was supposed to let you know i'll be contacting you i'll make things short i have some apartments to rent in the ghetto yada 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 hey i've got some places to offer you should check them out when you have the time okay we're gonna mark that as red view hideout renting Offer, hideout renting. Hideouts work not only as storage and lab locations, but they also constantly boost your respect in the neighborhood. You can also use hideouts for waiting, refuge, and uh, most of them save stations. Okay, that's kind of nice. So we'll have multiple locations to save at as well. well let's see uh, what we're working with here. So this is our current hideout. Our account balance is 980 buckaroonies. We got some police officers, but let's see next hideout. Old Tuan Garage? Old Town Garage? But like some letters are mixed up. That's interesting. $300 though. Plus 3% East Old Town Sale Boost. Plus 4% East Old Town Respect Boost. East Old Town. Oh my god, dude. There's, there's quite a bit to this. Okay, so we can rent that for $300. And that's renting too. We're not, we're not buying this. Um, this is also a rental. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe that's a loose term. Maybe we are actually buying them. I have no idea. Let's keep on going, though. So that last one was a 1,000. The one in the stink. I don't think we can get this one yet because we don't actually have any sort of respect in the stink. But that's 380. I just want to go through and see what all we have. 950, West Old Town, Small Docks Warehouse, and then back to our main apartment. So we do have quite a few options here. I think the obvious choice for us is the cheapest option at $300. So we're going to go ahead and rent this one. Hopefully that is a good idea. I don't know, dude. It, it's my first time being a drug dealer, so I'm not really sure what the business is all about. We're kind of learning as we go here, but um, that must be it, right? Let's see if Mike has said anything else. No, he just keeps repeating the same line to us over and over again. Oh, dude, our, uh, our dealer needs 28 grams of amp. I mean, sure, buddy, but that's going to take me a minute. I don't think we have 28 Gs on us right now. We'll visit you soon. Well, let's take a look at our table here. I really don't remember what all we have. So our original amp jar is now empty. We have 15.9 grams of blue amp. So let's just go ahead and get some more amp to make blue amp, if you know what I mean. Got to contact Eddie. Got to contact Eddie again, of course. Place a new order with him for, let's just do 20, I think. That's probably a good number because we have quite a bit right now. Go ahead and place that for 140 bucks and then we will immediately try to deliver some cash to him as well. Perfect. Alrighty, good deal. Mike, you gotta stop telling us the same thing over and over. It's getting real, <laughs> it's getting real old, bud. The drop's gonna be ready in about an hour. So I'm gonna make our way over to Edward's apartment. So we can, uh, of course, pay the man. But I want to go over and check out our new facility. Eggward! There you go, buddy. Should be everything. Make sure you count it, because I cannot count. So just around this fence here to the right, 
I think this is our new area. Open garage. Sweet! Okay, I was kind of thinking for some reason that it would almost like teleport us to another um, area, if you know what I'm saying. Like, I didn't expect the door to just open okay, like this well, and it be kind of like embedded in part of the map. Exactly Maybe that doesn't but make any sense. It's but important that you like it, right? Because yeah. You like it, don't you? I mean, I think so. Again, I have no... Anyway, a bit of furniture, oh. decorations no bottles to fill. Problem. Okay. I hope. Some lights. We do have some lights. Oh, the good old classic ceiling titty. We love to see it. All right. Well, we have a new little area there. Is it important that we turn the power off? Probably not. Can't imagine that would uh, draw any attention to that garage. But I think our drop is almost ready. We have some cops right in front of us. I'm just going to... Okay. Hey, I got nothing on me. So I don't, I don't even know why you're wasting your time with this. Got nothing. All right. Off yep. Go. As as I said, got nothing. But uh, if he were to catch us in like ten minutes, we would have a lot of something. All right. Our dead drop is available, and it is very very close to our house. So we're just gonna make sure that there are no cops. Seems. Why are they going right to the drop, dude? They literally camp the drop spots. I swear. We just gotta wait for them to walk on by. Nothing to see here, just just cruising around town. Gonna search through this trash can for no particular reason. And uh, definitely not dragging out a plastic baggie from that trash can. Now heading back to our apartment. We're certainly not gonna process this into a new substance that everybody in town absolutely loves called Blue Amp. <laughs> can I be any more, uh, can I be any more obvious here of what we're doing, cops? No, they had, they had no idea. I was also instructed to basically just get as much of the sugar and the ibuprofen uh, milled up here in the mortar as we possibly can. Otherwise, we're just going to be wasting a bunch of time. So I'm going to, I'm going to try this. Let's go ahead and select that now and just add it into this massive jar that we have over here. Okay, I've got 50 grams of sugar now refined, separated in its own jar for safekeeping. We also have a little bit of sugar remaining, but we'll grind that up when we need to, or I guess pound it up, smash it up, break it up. I don't know what we're even really doing here to tell you the truth. But then we also did the same thing with our ibuprofen that we had left. So we have five grams of that in its own separate jar. What I'm not sure about is if we take our existing recipe and double it, if that's going to lower the quality of the blue amp or if it's just gonna be the same. I'm gonna try it anyways. Actually, before we do, let's save. Probably a smart idea. Okay, so we're gonna do, instead of 10 grams like we usually do, we're gonna add 20 grams of our amp to this. And then, so we just have to double up the rest of the recipe, right? So it was one gram of ibuprofen, so we're gonna add two grams. It was two grams of sugar, right? So we're gonna add four grams, you get it. So now taking a look at our mix here, I'm pretty sure I did everything correctly. Again, it's just like taking our existing recipe and just kind of doubling it, multiplying it. So hopefully this is good. Let's go ahead and apply the mix. Uh, this is going to be, of course, blue amp, as it were before. And we'll see if this does good stuff. Oh, the precision for the mixing tray is also poor. I wonder if we can get a better one later on. It seems like it did what we needed it to do. So let's go ahead and select that and we'll get it added to our existing jar. Oh, we can't even add all of it. Alrighty then, we need more jars, dude. But our dealer wanted 28 grams of this stuff. So we've gotta do one package of 20, and then I think four of two. Four two Gs, that's way too many two Gs. I'll be honest, we really only need one. But there we go, now we've got all that. So then if we click on this again, whoops. Get it selected, and then we can add the substance then to our jar. So that is back to being full. Now, we've got everything we need. Let's go ahead and find our dealer. Dude, this is just so much for me to wrap my head around. Like, it's it's so much new information for me. Cops, 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 cops. I also don't know where I'm going, so I'm not sure why I'm just running around. Oh, we are going over to East... Uh, East Township? What is this place called? East Old Town, my god. We just gotta wait for these cops to leave, dude. They are seriously camping the area. 
It's getting a little ridiculous. Hang a right. Jump this wall. And our guy is going to be somewhere in here. Oh, my God. They're like... The cops are too close... Too close for comfort right now. They're right on the opposite side of this building. All right, uh, Zumo. My, my guy, my dude. We got all the goods for you right there. Hopefully, you can flip that pretty quickly. And we can get some money back. But we are now level 8. That is our dealer level. Let's head on back inside where it's remotely safe. And we'll figure out what we're going to tackle next well we've definitely got a ton of new orders coming through three grams of grass i need to take inventory i'm not even really sure what all we have right now we have plenty of marihana mary hawana we also have five g's of ecstasy and three grams of ibuprofen that's a mixing thing so i don't think we can really sell that let's see what all we can do here for everyone three grams of grass we can do that that is a no-brainer. Absolutely. Next up, two grams of grass. Yeah, we can do that. abso freaking lootly Next up, three grams of grass. Again, absolutely. Confirmed. Next up, Ted. Nine Gs of FET. We can do that. FET is amphetamine. So, yes, we can also help you out with that, Ted. Confirm that order. And lastly, Camille with eight Gs of Ganja. I haven't been keeping a mental tally, but I'm going to go ahead and confirm this order because we can get some, some more Kush pretty quickly. Oh my god, that is a lot of orders. All right, I'm not going to bore you guys with this. I'm just going to go ahead and try to divvy up all these amounts. Well, those orders just about cleaned us out completely. Close the door. Thank you kindly. And now let's see where we're going. Mainly south of us looks to be, but we've got one person... Like, hanging out in the streets or something? Maybe just behind this fence? Oh my god, I don't like running around, especially when it starts to get dark. Maybe back in here? Oh, yeah, right in front of us. Okay. I hate when it gets dark, because I literally can't see you guys. It's, uh, it's actually quite ridiculous. So we should have... Here we go. They need four two-gram baggies for eight gram in... Eight grams in total. There you are, Camille. And next, we have to go straight south. A couple of these people have been waiting for a little while because it does take some time to get all the baggies processed and things. But hopefully, they won't mind too much. This person is right on top of us. Why can't I see them then? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? I walked right by them. Brandon, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I got the, I got the dope, dude. I got the dope. Don't you... Worry your pretty little head about it. You need just one of those. Perfect. And next, we're going to go directly behind us. Brandon, you got to look out, dude. We're on a mission. All right, we've got dope to sling out here. We've uh, we've got money to make. Ted, how you doing today, dude? Or tonight, I should say. You are our blue amp order. Love that, all right? I know you're going to. I know you're going to. And then lastly, God, there's usually somebody over here. Oh, they're both up in the markets. Okay, so we're going to go this way. Head up into, like, where... Oh, cops. Where Emma's stall is. Usually someone in the alley. Oh, they're both here today. You guys are stacking. This is way too obvious. All right, if the cops get a little too close to this, they're going to smell this from a mile away. And then you are our last customer. Perfect. All right, we've got quite a bit of cash on us. I'm not sure if the police necessarily know how we're getting all of our cash. Like, I'm not sure if they would confiscate it just because they're going to assume that we're... Are you guys cops? No, you're just one person walking in the dark and I couldn't see you. So sorry. Not a cop, though. Obviously not a cop. So I think that actually gets us pretty well caught up with all of our orders. Police hours are going to start here in about an hour. So we're going to go ahead and just let a little time pass. Hopefully our drug dealer Zumo gets back to us and gives us some Skrilla for all the amp that we had given him. That, that could be him, honestly. Could be him. It is. Good deal. Okay, gathered your cash. I can meet if you want to. Yes. Please, 10 minutes. Police hours begin in 10 minutes. We got to go get our cash from Zumo. My man, where are you at? Same place he usually is. Good deal. Just uh, very casually 
running through town, nothing to see here, cops. Here is Zumo, hopefully we weren't followed. All right, 336, dude. So we gotta, oh, yikes. Okay, I hear some cops over there to the right, so I'm gonna go to the left around the fence. Yep, they are definitely right there. Please do not see me over on the opposite side of the street. You don't want the smoke. And we're inside. And actually, I'm going to immediately head back outside because one of our tasks now, as I just ran up on a trash can, is to test out the furniture features inside of our new hideout. So again, we're going to hop this fence. I am hearing some coppers. But if we get in here and then close the garage after... We flipped the light switch, of course. I don't think they'll even know that we're here. Okay, so furniture mode, hold space. Oh, we already have stuff? How do we already have furniture? But this is obviously a new like packaging, processing table type thing. Same thing we have in our current apartment. And then I'm not sure what we use the cabinets for. I guess this would probably be like our stash, right? So let's do one cabinet there and we'll do one just to the right of it. Okay, perfect. Now, apartment manager mode, still can't do anything in there, but there we go. That should be a task off the list. So, as I thought, these are just storage, and this does actually function just the same as the one in our apartment does. So, if we were to get raided by the police, could we not just try to grab all of our stuff and just head to this garage and kind of just hide out? Like, I feel like that's pretty obvious. I don't know. Oh, we're getting a call. Uh, hello? Oh, it's Eddie! E hey, to answer. Listen, I hear Been that a lazy minute. moron Donald came back from his vacation and reopened the furniture store. You might want to check that out. You Shut might need up. some more storage space or equipment soon. Shut we'll up, dude! Okay, thank you, Eggward, dude. We are making our way to the furniture shop now. They're probably closed, though. It is nighttime. It is also police hours. So if he's smart, he'd probably close up shop. But... The doors are wide open. Hopefully he is ready for business. Now, oh wait, that just gave us XP for walking in a store. I do like that. I do appreciate that. So we can't actually interact with anything in the store. Probably just my man here, Donald. Donald, what's going on? Show me your products. Please show me your wares, Donald. Oh, we have a large desk too, or a big industrial table. So there are some upgrades that we can work towards as well. We have a secret container. Wow, dude. Ooh, yeah, this is the stuff I'm excited about. A new laptop. So we could have additional laptop access in our new hideout as well. That's big. That is big. Uh, UV lamp and air filters and flowering pots. You're telling me we can grow our own big kahuna kush? Just my assumption. But that would be really, really cool. We don't quite have enough money. I mean, we could get set up with one. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Okay? I don't want to just... I don't just want to come out guns a blazing. But it looks like beds and couches, like the furniture stuff that you would lay or sit on, actually gives us an additional speed multiplier while we're waiting which is kind of cool as well. Interesting story you got here, Donald. We will definitely be back. abso freaking lootly Okay, our only tasks at this point in time are still just getting our clients addicted. So we're gonna keep grinding, working towards that. But I think we're just gonna have to let a bit of time pass here once again. All right, right here at about 420, there it is. I think now is the perfect time for us to re-up. We are real down. We are down bad on our supplies. So we're going to contact Eddie here. We're going to make a pretty substantial order. Nothing like outrageous, but we definitely need quite a bit. So we're going to get 20 Gs of Mary Hawana. And then we're going to get 20 Gs again of uh, the Amp. I think we're sitting pretty good on Ecstasy. I, I haven't really seen too many orders come through for that. So we'll just go ahead and place that order for the time being. And we'll see how long that's going to take. Debt is $240. We'll go deliver that. Not a big deal, but how long, my guy? There it is. Two hours. Okay. Quite a bit longer, but I guess that makes sense. We basically doubled up our usual order. Oh, this is big. Camille got addicted to Mary Hawana. 
again, I think it's a little weird that people are getting addicted to the stuff that we're not even like lacing or, or altering in any way. I really thought for sure Blue Amp was going to be the thing that would do it, but people just really like Mary Hawana for whatever reason. Good on them. Good on them. Thanks, Edward. There's 240 bucks down the hole, and now we just have to wait for the pickup. Our dead drop is straight ahead. Literally right over here, but where? Uh, there's a building here for sure. Hang on, let me see what this says. The supermarket dead drop. Uh, what? Oh, it's this one. Duh, we, this was like the first one we ever did. How do I not remember that? There we go. There's our 20 Gs of Mary Hawana and amp. Some more XP. Good deal. Now, of course, we're not just going to be leaving. Well, we'll leave the Mary Hawana alone, but we're not just going to be leaving the amp as it is. Oh, no. We're going to go ahead and get this all mixed up like we did before so we can get some blue amp. Just about 26 more grams of that. So we'll go ahead and add substance. Get uh, as much of that. Oh, okay. I swear that said 25 and we had 26 on our tray. Maybe we lose a little bit when we transfer. I have no idea. But there we have our blue amp put away. Let's go ahead and grab our Mary Hawana. We have none of this. We are completely sold out. So we're going to just put all of that in this jar with a green lid. Just so we know. So we can keep things straight. Got a new message from Zumo. 34 grams of... Dude, I got to put in a separate order for that. Are you kidding me? He's just ordering more and more. It sounds like I'm complaining. And I, to be honest, I kind of am a little bit. But I really shouldn't be. This, this gets us so much money. And fairly quickly as well. Also makes it so we don't actually have to run around and put ourselves in in harm's way so as we wait for the dead drop here on the 30 g's let's see what everyone else is needing 10 g's oh of amp i was like what are you what are you needing it just says need 10 i need to read the whole sentence obviously we'll go ahead and confirm that we should have plenty for you you need six of mdma what even is that you guys i'm actually i'm actually gonna pause I'm actually going to pause and just Google this. Oh, God, dude. my Got to clear the history after this one. MDMA or methylene dioxymethylamphetamine, commonly known as ecstasy. So we do have that. We definitely do have that. But do we have enough? Six grams is what they're after. We currently have five. So do we place another order? This seems like a lot, but yeah, I guess we I guess we have to. So for now, we're just going to skip over the 6 Gs of MDMA. And this person wants 3 grams of amp. We can absolutely do that. Not a problem at all, sir. Ted, 14 grams of ganja. Another 14 gram. Why are you guys buying so much all of a sudden? Again, it sounds like I'm complaining, which I kind of am, but I, I don't mean to be. It's just a lot, you guys. All right? I, I'm not placing the orders large enough to fulfill these. I am going to confirm Ted's order though, because I think we have enough to cover all this. Oh no, we only have 20. And then we only just ordered 30, which is mainly for our personal dealer. Dude, we need another order. Okay, just, just 10 more. Just 10 more, dude. Our debt is $50. This is unreal. And in all the time it's taken us to, you know, round up all these orders and, and just go through and basically confirm all these deals with people. We still haven't even gotten the confirmation for our initial dead drop, just so we don't lose any of our current clients as well. I'm going to go through and deliver to Brandon joa -oh. I don't even know how to pronounce that name. And then Ted as well. I think we have everything we need for those people. So let's see where everyone is. Camille, not right now. However you pronounce that is clear over there to the to the west. Brandon and Ted are down there. Okay, Brandon and Ted are like ticking time bombs. They are about to have an absolute fit. So we're going to head down here and help them out. Ted, what's going on, my man? Long time no see. Yeah, we got the stuff. Brother, so you needed one of those and two of those. Perfect. Thank you, Ted. And Brandon, dude with the sunnies out here, you needed... Uh, 10 G's of blue amp. Perfect. Oh my god, we've just hit level 9. Jesus, dude. We are just cruising on through this. Okay, and then we gotta go to Donald's Furniture Shop. That is where our last 
dude bro bra is gonna be at judging by the map it looked like he was gonna be around back maybe like on the side of the building oh yeah right over here all right no idea how to pronounce your name but thank you for your order here you go brethren enjoy that all right it's the good stuff it really is okay so now we have three more deliveries to make i think including our dealer zumo all right for 30 i forgot how much that was 34 grams is what he ordered so we got to get back to the apartment do a little bit more waiting for the next like three dead drops that we have coming in we've got our first dead drop up around here somewhere in a tire but we've got a couple of ops walking around a couple of people walking around as well okay up the street just a little further it's got to be around here dude we're looking for tires probably probably back in there let's go around this truck surely surely it's back in this area oh yeah we're close oh it says from the truck tire not a stack of tires where which tire this one okay good good we're fine you guys we're fine we've got one delivery one dead drop so far we've got one to go i believe oh no never mind that's all three of them combined that's yeah that's 40 grams and 10 grams of x can we climb this no okay Gotta run around, that's fine. It's not really a secret at this point that my mental math is subpar, to say the least, but uh, we just put the 34 grams of Mary Hawana in our back pocket. We now only have 12 grams left, so we're not gonna be able to make the sale to Camille right now. Gonna go ahead and place another order with Eddie, but let's get our six grams of ecstasy for Bartek. McDerp, what a last name. So the person right outside our property has been waiting here for forever. Oh no, and you're Camille. Dude, we're not gonna have your kush in time. I like just placed the order. There's there's no way. Look, you have like a sliver left. Oh, and so does everybody else. Okay, uh, we've gotta run. Sorry, Camille, love you, buddy. Hopefully you order from us again, even though your time's probably gonna... Cops, cops everywhere. There's cops. Wait, that's not a cop. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're fine, dude. It's it's the middle of the day. Everything is fine. I'm going the complete wrong direction. Looks like it's over by Emma's. Are you the person? Maybe. Yes. One of them anyways. So you needed the ecstasy. We got you. We got you. There you go. All right. And where is the other one? Oh, duh. It's our dealer. Zumo. Oh, there's there's literally so many cops over there. Oh, that was scary. Dog, I got you though. Here we go. There's 30 and 34. All right, hit us back soon because that's a lot of money laying there on the table. All right, Camille is still waiting. We've got just a couple minutes here before they just dip set. So we've got some tires over here in the playground. That's our next dead drop. I'm starting to remember a couple of the locations, but not many if I'm honest. All right, Camille, don't go anywhere. Please, I'm running as fast as I can. We almost don't have any stamina left. Just around this corner here, though. There we go. You're still here. Oh, thank God. Yes. Yes, I made it. Oh, no. This isn't even the right amount. Dude, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hang on. Um, I'll be right back. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. We've already got one 10-gram baggie. What we need now is some from our, our stash. We need two two grand baggies and stats. How quickly can I do this? Package product. Okay, you'd think that I'd be getting kind of fast at this, at least proficient, but that is so far from the truth. Okay, I think we've got it. Please don't be any cops right outside this door, dude. We don't need that. That is not a good way to end off the episode. Camille, we made it to you. Here it is. Here it is, and the two two Gs. Oh, wow, that was hectic, brothers. Hectic, and then we still have to go pay Eddie. But I feel like this is a pretty good spot to go ahead and wind down this episode at for today. We're just gonna wait until those cops pass. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.